Oh my god, I look rough. Not R O U G H rough. R U S S rough. I'm gonna open my blind. Oh my god. But for the last couple of days, I've been trying to film a get ready with me. And the get ready with me is just not getting, it's not, what's the right words? It's just not doing what it needs to do. Every time I film it, I always have to be in a rush to leave. Or just for it. For the past three days now, I've been trying to film this. What up, Gengi? As y'all can see, I was in a really, really happy mood to be filming. Basically, we do what we're ready with me. Okay. I'm not really feeling good. Okay, um, so I'm going to start getting ready. Um, I already washed my face. Right now, I'm going to put on this stuff. It is a nice end of my booster. It's supposed to like hydrate your skin, but it doesn't really do anything, I feel like. I don't know, it also helps for like blemish control. And then I use this moisturizer, so. And I'm gonna start getting ready. It's 10.38 right now, and it's Tuesday, March 28th. Yeah, so I'm gonna listen to music. I'm gonna do my makeup, and I'll show you guys my makeup afterwards. Okay, so I finished my makeup, and I'm starting to straighten my hair. Cause it was looking pretty crispy, so I'm gonna straighten it. And yeah, then I'll get back to you. So I finished getting ready, did my hair. I put on this cardigan looking jacket. Cause I was gonna wear a bomber jacket, but I didn't really like how it looked at me. So yeah, and then I'm wearing this chain that I got from Shein. These earrings are also from Shein. This ring says my cousin's name on it. And this ring, I got from a shop called Icy Creations. They're on Instagram. I'll put their thing in here. And then this ring's also from Steam. And yeah, that's how I looked like today. They look pretty good. I'm wearing this like black crop top and then my dickies. So my room's kind of a mess, but don't mind. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat though. My whole hand. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. Oh, it's fine. It's not fine. It's really not fine. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear me because I have this microphone on, but I don't even know if it works. So hopefully you can hear me. Um, basically, my mother has me making tuna over here. The other crane standing on the box, but first I have to do dishes. You know, just a daily, a daily thing. Y'all already know. Y'all already know it's a daily thing. Uh, okay, I had to take out my jacket because I got it wet. Unfortunately, y'all not are gonna what? <laughs> Unfortunately, y'all are not gonna sit on this no more. So, y'all just gonna have to wash them down here. Let's go get our ingredients. Okay, for our cooking with Helen portion, you are gonna need the next few ingredients. Basically, what you're gonna need is a head of lettuce. Corn, I usually use uh, like a veggie can, but I don't have one. So right now we're gonna use corn. And then, <sighs> and then four cans of tuna. Okay, so I felt like I didn't really answer the Q&A questions correctly because that's originally what I was planning on doing. And I look back on the video that I recorded and I don't really like how I answer these questions because they're not what I originally had planned on answering them. You know what I mean? I just didn't like the way I said certain things. So I decided I wanted to refilm it. And so that's what you guys are getting instead. Enjoy. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back. So basically I had already originally planned to film this video and I did film it. But I ended up getting more questions and I just wanted to start fresh and do this over again and actually do the answer the questions correctly and you guys can see my face and I'm talking to you straight up like this instead of 
me doing two different things at once and looking like a bum so so yeah um i asked a few questions on instagram i just put i'll put it right here but i put um to ask some questions that you guys wanted me to answer on here and yeah you guys did respond i only chose a little bit of them just because some of them were like random and like people saying hi and i'm obviously not gonna put that in here so yeah so you guys can get those shout outs um so in the post that I posted, oh, in the thing that I posted on Instagram, I said that um, only four people responded to my Instagram post. And literally only four, like five people responded to my Instagram post in my original video. But then when I reposted it again, a bunch of other people ended up responding. So the four main people are still gonna get their shout out. I'll still put a shout out for every single one who actually ended up commenting. Um, so yeah, you guys will all get your shout out. OB, I'll put all the Instagrams right here. Woo, go follow them because they're the real ones. And you guys, will get all, and it'll also be in the description. It'll also be in the description with also with my socials. You guys also follow my socials. Um, so yeah. Basically, I'm gonna answer all the questions that I answered in the last video first, and then I'll do like the newer ones. So yeah, the first question is gonna be, do you ever see yourself going really big just on being consistent? And honestly, it's a yes and a no. Um, honestly, I see a lot of YouTubers now who are really, really consistent with their content, and they don't really get anywhere. Um, or they're like, they're not like really big. Like yes, they're known, but they're not really, really big. And I feel like that's what's gonna happen for me. Like I'm known on Instagram and on TikTok and stuff, but I feel like I'll just be a little bit more known than I'm already am. But I don't think I'm gonna be like really, really big. I'm gonna be like a really, really big YouTuber. I think I'm just gonna be more known than I'm known now. If that makes sense. I feel like that's what's gonna happen for me. The next question is, how old are you? I got this question like three times. I'm gonna put them all three right here. But I got them three times asking me, how old am I? I am 16. I turned 17 in October. So it's kind of a bit away. Uh, I'm 16 years old. I'm a junior in high school. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the next question is, what is your favorite memory? This is from my friend Jay. I think it's a special shout out. But I don't know if the question was like my favorite memories with them or like my favorite memory in general general. So I'll answer both. Um in general, I think my favorite memory has to be when I went to California in July. If you guys don't know, I'm originally from California. I was born in Los Angeles in Hollywood. I know but i'm originally from california and most of my mom my, all my mom's side of my family lives in california and my dad's side of my family lives here in utah so it was very much fun seeing my mom's side of the family i hadn't seen them in like four or maybe five years so it was very much fun getting to see them again and i ended up going to disneyland too and that's actually the first time i ended up going to disneyland and it was so much fun you guys 10 out of 10 would recommend i went to both parks <sighs> so much fun we went to the beach we did everything it was so much fun and i would definitely do it again and i definitely want to go back this year but it's my favorite memory and i got to spend a lot of time with my family and i love spending time with my family if that's one thing you want to know about me i literally love my family i'm always with my family i do everything with them they're my best friends so yeah spending a whole week with them and one room was definitely very very fun favorite memory in general with this person who commented um i feel like every memory with this dude it's always been fun everything we've always done everything we've always done it has always been really fun we always do fun things together so i don't really have a favorite memory just because every time i hang out with him it's become my new favorite memory i don't really have a favorite memory with you but we gotta hang out soon. We gotta hang out soon. This question is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Um, kind of like 
something like I've said before I've been wanting to do for a long time and I've done it but I never have the motivation to keep doing it and I was like in fourth grade I wanted to do it and it's just been something I've wanted to do I remember when I was in fourth grade I literally had a notebook and it had like scripts of what I would say in a YouTube video and I remember I made YouTube videos on my like white big white laptop that I had um in my closet by myself whispering to the camera introducing myself and I was so excited I remember I posted my first YouTube video on a different account and I was so hyped and every year I kept going back to it and kept going back to it and I decided I was gonna go back to it again but I wanted to start first I wanted to do everything new I wanted this to be something that I always do this I want this to be like my career you know so yeah I was like if I'm gonna do it I keep coming back to it God just keeps bring me back to this channel bring me back to YouTube why not just make it my career and that's why I decided to start this YouTube channel because yeah I've been wanting to do this for a long time so next question is what's something you would never regret something I would never ever, ever, ever. Regret. Ooh, that's a hard one. But I feel like changing myself for me. That's something I don't regret. A lot of people say I'm more mean now and I'm more... I've definitely heard I'm more mature, more responsible than I was last year. And I definitely don't regret it. Um, I went through a lot to get to where I am now. And I don't regret what I had to do to get over here to this side of my life. I think that hurt some people. Some people have definitely had to hurt me to get to where I am now and I do not regret it at all. Next question is, also from my friend Gay, he also said, why did you leave me behind? I had to. Honestly, I feel like, now that I'm thinking about it now, like my old house definitely was beautiful. I loved her, she was everything for me. She was such a beautiful little townhouse that we had and I loved her so much. And I made really good friends there, everything. I just feel like, I don't know, like, there was so much negative energy in the house. When I heard we were moving, girl, I was excited, beyond excited. And now I love being in my own room, having my own space, having my own privacy. Yeah, my parents still come in here every 10 seconds of the day. But, like, I love it. I love being in my own space, in my own bubble. And, yeah. So that's why I don't think I'll be honest. Next question is, how far did I move? So I'm gonna tell you guys, I'll tell you guys the regional location. I lived in West Jordan. I'm gonna tell you guys like exactly where I live because this part of town where I live, like the new city that I live in, is very, very brand new. So you can find me very easily if you wanted to because there's not a lot of places, there's not a lot of houses nearby. So you can find me very, very easily, especially because I've shown you guys my how my house looks. So yeah, you guys can find me very easily, but yeah. So I'm not gonna tell you guys where, what part of Utah I moved to, but I did move very far away. I moved like 45 minutes from West Jordan. So that gives you kind of the gist of where I moved, um, even though all the other cities that are next to me are also 45 minutes from West Jordan. So. The next one was actually for my mom. She actually commented like three other things. I'll put them right here. She wants to be annoying. She wants to be annoying. But we love her. She said, are you excited about your new school? Loki, Loki, I'm excited. Really excited to go back to a public school. Rather than a charter school. I'm really excited. That's what I'm excited about. I'm not even nerv nervous about the people because I feel like everyone's the same here. Everywhere you go. Ah! Miss Allison asked me what part of Utah do I live in now? We're not gonna tell you, but it's 45 minutes from Miss Jordan. That's all I gotta tell you. We're down to our last two questions now. So, ooh, this video might be really, really short actually. <laughs> Anyways, but the next question is, is what's my skincare routine? Okay. <sighs> my skincare routine contains a lot of things. No, it doesn't. Uh, my skincare routine, honestly, isn't like really exaggerating a 
don't think I use the, I'll put a picture right here. I'll use the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. It's like in a teal packaging. I use that one to take off my makeup and to actually like wash my face in the morning. That's what I use in the morning to wash my face. And then like, if I didn't wear makeup that day, I use this, it's called Pan Oxu. It's, it's the bomb. It gets rid of your acne, like nothing. But it is sensitive to light and it will bleach your clothes. Trust me, it will bleach your clothes. So beware, it will bleach your clothes and it's very sensitive to light. So that's why I use it at night instead. I've been using like this serum. It's a niacinamide booster serum and I don't really, okay, I'm gonna give you all my honest opinion about it. I don't really think it's doing anything. Like it honestly, it just feels kind of extra and it smells like kids nail polish. So I think I'm gonna stop using it because it doesn't really do anything. But I still put it on the screen right here. If you want it, if you want to copy yourself one, and you most certainly can, but I don't really see a difference. There's no, I, no, I don't see a difference. And then for moisturizer, I just simply use the CeraVe moisturizing lotion. That's also what I use. Oh, and the other cleanser that I also use, if I'm like really oily, cause I do have oily skin. I get mostly oily like on my T-zone. Mostly on my forehead, I feel like. I get really shiny. So I do use the Clinique one too. It's really good. This is the last question I ended up getting. Um, it's gonna be very, very simple. It's a very simple question. It's nothing extravagant and I love it. I think it's a good way to finish off our Q&A segment. Um, it's actually from one of my friends and he asked me, what's my favorite cookie? You guys, I, I definitely don't love sweets a lot. I'm not a sweet person. I definitely love savory stuff over sweet stuff. That's just how I've always been. The Subway cookie, it's like a, it's like that cheesecake one. What is it? I think it's like raspberry and it has like the white chocolate in it. Oh, y'all already know. If I ever worked at Subway, <laughs> Ooh, I'll get fired real quick. I'll eat all the goddamn cookies from there. But those questions I got, I feel like they're really, really good though. They're really bomb questions, to be honest. I like them. I like these questions. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing this again sometime. Maybe when I like getting ready and stuff. Thank you guys so much for giving me these questions to answer. I'm definitely gonna do this on my Instagram again. So go follow me on my Instagram. It's in the intro and it's also in my in the description go in the description everybody who commented on and asked a question are all gonna get a shout out in my description box so if you want to go follow them they're all gonna be in the description and i'll put them all right here again on the screen just for you guys so you guys can see um and yeah i love every single one of you guys thank you guys so much for watching um new videos are coming i'm just out of my grind but new videos are coming thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye Aww.